So now let's look at how we can move ahead with our initial tutorial which we are following and create that infinite list because in our expense list as well we will be creating something similar although we will be first fetching that data from an API but that's not something which we have done so far so let's create something with a static list that's what I understand because it is saying that using the random names or random words we will be creating a scrollable infinite scrolling list so let's get started so first thing it is saying is add a underscore suggestions list to the random words state it's a list which means word pair array okay that's fine and also add a bigger font variable for making the font size larger that's fine i think we can do that let's just type it out I know it will take a little more time than usual but that's fine i think we will learn certain things in the process so inside the state random underscore state right so let's do that final final will mean this variable is not going to change okay um suggestions by the way i have the code on my laptop so that's where i'm referencing from it will be easier for me to type as well as explain you what is happening okay uh, so suggestions equals word pair a list okay that's the syntax now as i said we need one more variable which is bigger font this we will use for styling so bigger font equals constant text style text style data ui inherit okay let's see Textile and then font size is 18.0. Okay, mm, I'll need to close this out. Okay, so we have two variables, nothing is going to change over here, obviously. But then let's go to a documentation. Next, you will add a build suggestions function. To the random state class this method builds the list view that displays the suggested word pairing which means this is this build suggestion which they are creating right this is responsible for creating for showing the list view on our screen and if we analyze the code i can see this this function is a widget okay so they are saying we create this function but this function is a widget so as we know inside flutter everything is a widget right so this is a widget which we are creating this widget returns us a list view and we are calling the builder function right and that builder function has a padding property which we are setting to something as edge insets all to 16 fine this must be some styling property we can just keep it as it is and ignore it for now we can move ahead and now item builder so from my experience even in react native we had something similar so if we have a list view obviously the list needs to know how that how each item is going to be created right how i mean i mean how will each item come inside the list view so this is the logic uh, inside the item builder so i can see that we are passing the context okay is it being used somewhere no the context is available i guess so the context is available the i um i would assume this is the index let's see and then if i is odd then we return a divider otherwise we do final this i'm assuming this is a division uh some kind of a mod maybe this syntax is not clear to me what is it saying the expression i this two divides i by two okay that is the division and returns an integer result okay so this must be saying that i want an integer result for example one two three four five becomes zero one one two two okay fine that's that's very straightforward um so we can go ahead and write it out so this is underscore suggestions which is something we created over here underscore suggestions add all okay add all and generate words take 10 so i guess every time it takes 10 and then when the list m is ending it is adding 10 more that's my understanding that makes sense 
Okay, and then in the end, we are calling one more function, which is build row. That's fine. So we'll do that later because I think, yes, this is one more widget. So this widget is a list view and that list view is calling one more function, which is a widget, which is the individual row. That's That makes sense. So let's start coding our uh, solution. So I'll, again, as I said, I will be looking at my laptop and uh, coding stuff because we have already gone through the um, you know, explanation of what is happening. So let's get started. So let's see. We first, we will create a widget. We will name it build suggestions. Now this widget is going to return a list view. Um, list view dot builder. Okay, something like this. Now, let me do one thing. The syntax is uh, a little different, so I will take some time. But we said there is a padding. We need to define padding. So it's constant edge inserts all. The value is 16. So we will add that. And then we have the item builder. Okay, item builder is basically where you know, the entire logic is going to happen. So as you can see, item builder is, I would say it's kind of a, you know, a, a function is being called. It's a uh, arrow function where we are getting a context and the index, right? So I can do something like this. And we will have to return something, uh, but let's see. Can I return? Oops, that's not what I intended. What is it saying? Um, return type set dynamic. Okay. What is happening is I saw two types of um, hinting. One was an arrow function and one is a normal. I'm trying to basically understand if there is any real difference. We will come to that. Uh, let's first code that. So if my index is odd, okay, so we are saying then we will return constant divider. This is, I guess, one more component available with letter. And if it is, um, and then the rest of the logic, which is final index, Okay, I already have index, right? So I can do something like I, I, right? Because that's coming from the uh, function. So yes, I mean, the code also suggests that. So if I, this two, which means I'm dividing I with two and I'm taking an integer value. If, inde if index is this and I'm saying that index is greater than or equal to the suggestions length, right? If that is the case, so I initially created suggestions. Okay, then the builder is coming along. Now, if it is greater than or equal to the length, then I do suggestions dot add all. Okay, I'm going to add some generated words over here. So generated word pairs, uh, that's a function dot take 10. Okay, something like this. Okay, it is squawking over here for some reason. The body might complete normally causing null return. Okay, I don't have a return, so it is still complaining. That's fine. I'll do a return. Don't worry about it. Return. I'll, um, we'll have build row. Okay, this is a function which I need to create as of now. And I'll send the suggestions index. Oh, is it going to be index? Yes. Okay. So this is done. I think that error went away. But now can I do an arrow function for this? Let me see. 
I just want to explore if that's that's even possible. So something like this. And if I do this kind of a syntax, set divider isn't a widget. Hmm. That's a bit weird. Okay, let's stick to the code and see what is happening. I think we'll have to explore that once you know this tutorial is done because after that we will be doing a lot of serious things so yes uh, this widget is done but this widget is calling this particular new widget so we'll have to create one more widget this and what are we expecting in that widget we are expecting a word pair right so we'll do word pair word pair and in here it will return something what does it return it returns a list title title wow um, it's not giving me that why is there a list title already which is coming some from somewhere else i don't know Huh. return list title I'll do that then it is not giving me those things so something is wrong something is going wrong over here pa, 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 pa. suggestions we are using this it's not getting used so that's fine build row word pair wrist tile oh i i know what i was doing i think i was doing title and that's where the problem started okay um it has a title property the title property will ne need a text so i'll send the text and what should be the text that will be word pair dot two string okay and based on the documentation we are providing some styling so the styling is going to be bigger font this bigger font is the variable that we had created over here right so that's done okay it is adding this this is this is helpful i, I really like the you know plugin Okay, and then finally, obviously, we have a widget. So instead of calling this inside our main random word widget, we call the function and we know we don't need this final variable. So let's hit save now. And wow, we get an infinite scroll. This is nice. So again, what are we doing over here? This particular widget, this entire file, right? Random words widget is a stateful widget. Okay, these are some of the syntaxes. We can clearly say that these are boilerplate code. Okay, it, it is creating a state and all those stuff. Now, this is our class, which is the state of this um, component, right? In here, previously, we just had this one widget, which was the build. Okay, it used to create a random word and, and it used to show in the center of the screen. But then what we did is we said we are going to return one more. Uh, I mean, we are going to return a widget on this screen, which is build suggestions. This widget is a list view. This list view is you know, running this logic to build individual line items over here, list items, and that thing right that individual line item is calling the build row widget which takes care of this actual text which is coming okay so far so good so i think this is a good improvement on our final little thing about the infinite scroll and i can see that it is very smooth i mean it, it on the emulator it is so smooth so i'm definite that on the device it will be seamless so I'm quite excited. I think we have done a good progress on our get started tutorial. We have written our first thing and from 
now onwards we will have to look at specific requirements for my expense tracker and we will start building our app towards you know all geared towards the requirements so yeah that's about it guys for this video if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel